More letters from God and His Christ. The Penalty A Life for a Life. April 21, 2012. From the Lord, our God and Savior. The Word of the Lord given to Timothy during an online conversation for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, My sons, I speak now in your hearing, for in you I am well pleased. For you have sought to understand my judgments, and seek to accept my punishments, though you are in no way able to touch the heart of the Lord, and that you could endure my sorrow, nor are you yet able to accept the full degree of my punishment. For my anger is kindled, and has become a raging fire, all-consuming, an all-encompassing, purging fire, wiping away all evil and sin from off the land. You have sought to understand a life for a life, and behold, you do indeed see dimly, even with frustrated eyes. Thus I shall tell you plainly. From the beginning the decree went forth and was upheld, that a life which is taken shall be repaid by the death of the guilty, and it was so. Yet in the days of Moses this was not done by the judgment of man, but according to the judgment of God, for in those days my voice yet remained with my people. Behold, all who have sinned since that time have taken their own lives, and thus a life must be given. For the penalty of sin is death, and without the shedding of blood there can be no remission. Thus I came down in the flesh, and offered up my life in place of the guilty, bearing the full weight of their transgression in my own body, a life for a life. Yet understand this also, to receive of my life, one must also accept my life through sincere repentance. And if one refuses the gift, then the same remains under my punishment, which is death. Thus I tell you plainly, and though your hearts shall sink within your chests, and tears shall come, it must be. For the sin of abortion is very grievous. For every fifty million babies slain at the hands of men, I shall take the life of one billion of those who dwell upon the earth who were in agreement. For they will not repent. Behold, even I shall bring calamity upon the millions who stood idly by. I am the Lord. In this one thing is the justice of God revealed. Vengeance is mine. I shall repay. For punishment of the wicked rests solely upon my shoulders in which I take no pleasure at all, even as salvation rested solely upon the Son of Man, in which I was well pleased. Therefore he shall be your judge, even as he is also your Savior, says the Lord. Therefore, my sons, stumble not over the letter of my words, nor seek to understand by calculation, but see with greater eyes, see with your heart. Understand the magnitude, stare not at the letter. Look upon my speech through tears, grasp the power of my words in sorrow. Look upon my face as I stretch out my hand in my strength. Taste my tears as I bring death upon them. Look into my eyes as I destroy the cities of men. My sons, are you able to drink from this cup? Can you endure my pain? Will your life not pass from you under the full weight of this revelation? Behold, man is but stubble before the blade, grass under the shadow of burning trees in a deep forest of sin, sand at the bottom of a dark ocean of transgression. Yet I am mindful of him. My heart knows each one. Thus those whom I send must be remade. They must be transformed. They must eat from the tree of life, partaking also from the tree of knowledge. They must become as adamant stones, with their hearts refashioned, new hearts which beat and sink with mine. Or how shall I send them? Says the Lord. <laughs>